Polly, first things first, well done. Thank you very much, I'm very pleased. But today was a really important day for Thurrock and for the Labour Party here, because it's the start of our long campaign to get Thurrock back for Labour and the, the start here of us being part of a campaign to make sure there's a Labour government as soon as possible. Your, your speech at, at the hustings, what was it you were saying, what was the key points there? Um, my, my key argument really for why I wanted to be able to work here for Thurrock was that Thurrock has so much going for it, it is changing massively, but Labour can only win here if we change too. So we need to be more outward looking, more open, talking to more people. There are so many voters here who either feel that we've abandoned them or that we haven't met yet because Thurrock is changing so rapidly. And the, grip, the big challenge for us over the next few weeks, months and years will be making sure that those people know us, know our values and know that we're on their side. There's a lot to scrutinise with the borough and maybe challenging the MP at the moment, is that accurate? Well one of the things that I've uh, made it an uh, argument for all the time while I've been talking to members here is that every time Jackie Doyle Price votes for the government in Westminster she's voting against the people of Thurrock be that cutting educational maintenance allowance, allowance which means that m more than 1700 children here no longer have the support in order to be able to maintain their education whether she's doing that on the winter fuel payments or failing frankly to be able to make the case for the kind of transport links and improvements that we need that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold her to account. People are going to know when Jackie Doyle Price fails Thurrock. <laughs>